this institutional racism and unconscious bias in the UK? <gasps> no, never. That's like telling me WWE wrestling is fake. Really? You think? That interview didn't really tell us anything we didn't already know or suspect. The only thing that surprised me about that interview was that they didn't call it the real coming to America. Someone really asked how dark the baby would be. Okay, two things here. I mean, Meghan is light-skinned and Harry is white. How, what were they expecting? Whoever asked this question may have a royal status, but clearly has not got a GCSE in biology. How do they think black genes work? We all just come out dark? Actually, now that you mention it, my dad is Lionel Richie and my mum is Madonna, but somehow I came out like this. If Archie was dark-skinned, then someone would need to have the talk with Harry. Bruh, that kid ain't yours. Secondly, instead of asking about the baby skin tone, you would think there's more pressing questions to be asked within the royal family. You know, questions like, um, what are we going to do about Andrew? What, are we just going to pretend like he's not the royal family equivalent of R. Kelly? Or questions like, can someone please hide Philip's car keys? Or questions like, seriously, what are we going to do about Andrew? The messed up thing is, there's still going to be people who hate Meghan with a passion. She took our prince away. She took him away from the UK. No, he chose to leave. He said he was scared of history repeating itself. That's why Archie keeps on going, drive safe, drive safe. Let's see what the royal family come out with. They've got to say something, haven't they? I'm not saying that the royal family's reputation is tarnished, but after the interview, I grabbed my wallet, took out a five pound note, and even the queen's face on a banknote was like, oh shit.